I remember a time when I gave a performance and during the performance, I made several mistakes. I was like, oh man. And after the performance, I was chatting with someone or someone came up to me to say, oh, Joseph, you played so well. I can't believe you played it perfectly without missing a single note. How did you do that? And this really surprised me because I was like, wait a minute, I know I made a lot of mistakes. But then as I was thinking about it, I was like, wow. See, when I made these mistakes in the performance, I kept going and I, I tried not to react to it or make like a face. I was just like, oh, I just meant to do that. If you just smile and keep going, it's okay to make some mistakes because most people won't even notice. People who are listening to your performance, they just want to enjoy it. They're not like checking off how many times you make a mistake. So it helped me learn to relax and always just keep going. Well, I definitely fail all the time because you have to. You have to push yourself past your comfort zone and past maybe your level of capability. And then you fail, but that's how you learn. I have a voice looper. I connect my mic into basically five tracks that loop over and over again. So I realized on a gig one time when there was a speaker next to me, the thing about looping is it only increases in volume. It does not get softer. Once you start looping it and you have a microphone, it's looping the same thing. And it gets so loud eventually that it's just, there's a lot of feedback and things go haywire. And so I learned that at one of my first looping gigs, I realized I have to turn my mic down and maybe turn the sound up on the speaker, but turn my mic down. And now I loop live like three or four times a month for paid gigs at hotels, and it's going really well. So it was my first jury at college, my piano jury, and I was playing a Mozart sonata, and the whole time we were working on it, I was not happy with it. I think I just struggled trying to figure out the Mozart sound, and, and my teacher was always giving me looks like that, like just wasn't quite right, and, and I just felt like it was failing all over the place. And uh, when I did the jury, it still just wasn't good. I was ready to just like throw it away and never play it again. But the day after my jury, I went back to the piano and I just decided to play it one more time. And for whatever reason, it was like the best I'd ever played it. Um, it sounded great and I felt great and I suddenly loved it again. And I think it was just because I needed to let go of all that pressure of trying to make it sound the way my teacher wanted it or trying to figure out what the, the jury panel would want it to sound like instead of just enjoying it and having fun with it and playing it the way that I wanted it to sound. Oh, there was this one time I was performing at this, uh, this jazz club in town and we were gonna perform this song uh, that I didn't have music for, I was supposed to learn it by ear. And I thought I learned it correctly. It's a very short song with only four chords, but uh, I had uh, mislearned the chords and I didn't learn until the song had started and I started playing and realized, oh, these sound horrible. Um, so I stopped playing and I tried to figure out what was going on and I just couldn't. I was really lucky because one of my um, good friends, uh, Ethan, who also plays piano, was in the audience and he knew the song and he quickly ran up on stage and whispered the chords to me and showed me real quick and then the rest of the song was fine. Uh, so the moral of the story is make sure that you learn your songs in the right key uh, and always keep your wits about you on the bandstand because you never know when something's going to go wrong. Just remember even the greatest sports players of all time, like Michael Jordan with basketball, one of the most famous basketball players of all time, you know, he would miss shots every game and no one was like mad at him. So same with, with music. We're not looking for perfection. You know, I, I just worry about what I want it to sound like. And when I do that, it sounds great and I have fun with it. And I think when I'm having fun and enjoying myself, it's always gonna sound better. You learn better from failing than from doing it perfect every time. Um, there's m always more room for growth when you can see where the growth needs to be. And every time I've had a, a time I make a mistake or I fail, there's something to learn from that. And so I could just look at it and say, huh, okay, what can I learn from that? I'm gonna stand back up and just keep going.